mentioned uh, death there. I feel like this is a, a kind of something that um, is a big, uh, maybe appeal for a lot of people of, of this, this philosophy, right? What do you think this entails that happens to the, the individual upon death? Um, what happens when a patient with dissociative identity disorder is cured? What happens is that those split personalities are reintegrated. The memories of each alter uh, are integrated into the memories of the host. Uh, and the host remembered, remembers the point of view of each alter. It inherits the memories of each alter and recognizes, oh, those were all my memories. I was playing all those roles. It was all me. I just got confused about it, but uh, it was all me all along. That doesn't seem too bad. I don't think uh, the patient, when the patient's cured, mourns the death of the alters. I don't think that happens. The patient realizes that uh, it was all him or her um, all along. Another metaphor. Uh, when you are in a dream, you think you're inhabiting a world. You think you are in the dreamed up world. And you think you are that character in the dream. And then when you wake up, you realize that, uh, oh, I wasn't in the dream. The dream was in me. And I wasn't that character. I was a dreamer making up the whole thing. You don't mourn the death of your dream character when you wake up you realize that your dream character never really existed to begin with. It was just you. In more or less the same way, I think uh, this is the realization of uh, the end of universal dissociation, the end of life. You realize that, oh, um, Bernardo was just a role I was playing. It, it was just me. You were not going to mourn the death of Bernardo. Um, concurrently, Bernardo doesn't survive. The alters don't survive. Your dreamed up character doesn't survive. REP to it. Your dreamed up character dies when you die, when you wake up. The alters die, disappear, vanish, no longer are when, when the patient is cured. I think Bernardo Karstrup will die, vanish, disappear. Thank goodness. <laughs> because it's the end of the illusion and Bernardo Castro tends to suffer quite a bit, tends to be very neurotic. Uh, the idea that Bernardo Castro would go on and on and on for all eternity. Ooh, I, I would commit suicide if it were possible uh, under that scenario. So I think our individual, uh, so to give you an answer, I was just prepping the answer. I think our individual identities die. We die, we cease to exist as people, as individuals. We are reabsorbed uh, into that that was all along the ground of our being anyway. But I don't think uh, anyone or anything, any facet or aspect of the universe, except the ones that stay alive, uh, will mourn that. It's just, oh, oh, shit, oh yeah. That's what was going on all along, okay. <laughs>